हेलो टू ऑल माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल टुडे स्टोरी नेम इज द मैन हु बिकेम अ वूमन अकॉर्डिंग टू महाभारता द लूनार डिनेस्टी अल्सो कॉल्ड द चंद्रवंशा और सोम वंशा इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट वॉरियर हाउसेस इन इंडिया एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट इज बिलीव दैट दिस डिनेस्टी descended from the moon a long time ago there lived a man named vaiswasta manu considered to be the first man on earth and his wife shraddha the couple didn't have a child for many years so they decided to perform a yagna in the hope of pleasing the gods however shraddha secretly hoped for a daughter while manu wanted a son in time their prayers were answered and son was born to them whom they named sudyumna years passed and sudyumna grew up to be a fine young man one day he went hunting with his friends to the beautiful forest of shravana the forest of reeds no sooner had the all male troop entered the enchanted portion of the forest than they were magically transformed into young women none of them had any idea how it had happened or what they were to do as the troop began wandering deeper into the forest as a woman sudyumna so decided to reinvent himself according to the body he now had and call himself ila when ila and her friends became desperate to leave their beautiful surroundings and return to their homes goddesses parvati appeared in front of them you and your friends have entered my garden she said look around you this is no ordinary place in fact no men are allowed to come here if they do they turn into women immediately and permanently Seeing Ila's dismay face, Parvati smiled. "I know you came here by accident," she said gently. "So I will bless you, child. May you lead a happy life, irrespective of your gender. From this day on, you will be able to choose what you want to be, male or female, whenever you want." To everyone's surprise, beautiful Ila chose to remain a girl. and embrace her new identity with her heart and soul meanwhile buddha the god of planet mercury and the son of moon god chandra noticed ila's exquisite beauty and fell hopelessly in love with her ila reciprocated his feeling and two were wed in due course ila gave birth to son called pururava Time passed and Ila chose to revert to her male form Sudyumna. He returned to his kingdom and ruled it wisely. As was expected of a king, Sudyumna got married and had many children of his own. He continued taking care of his subjects until he was old, after which he handed over the kingdom to his first son Pururava and retired to the forest to live out remainder of his days pururava the grandson of chandra thus introduced the lunar dynasty he ruled from his kingdom capital pratishthana today's allahabad in uttar pradesh the great pandavas of the mahabharata are the part of this dynasty king yayati one of the ancestors of the pandavas was succeeded by his youngest son puru His dynasty came to be known as the Puru dynasty. Another one of Puru's descendants was Emperor Bharata, the son of King Dushyanta and Shakuntala. Bharata was such a great king that our country was named after him and called Bharat or Bharatvarsha. King Kuru was born after 25 generation of puru dynasty and gave rise to the kuru dynasty after 15 more generation the pandavas and the kauravas were born in theory both the pandavas and the kauravas are descendants of king kuru 
but the pandavas who were the son of pandu choose to carry their father's name and not the identity of the clan this is the end of the story do you like it then comment it subscribe my channel bye bye